Welcome to Jill Cameron Creations. Thanks for joining me today. Don't forget to hit the subscribe button so you don't miss a single video. And we're talking about simple Copic coloring. Hey. So today we're going to talk about doing some simple Copic coloring. Copic coloring is absolutely gorgeous, but if you're making Christmas cards, it's time consuming. So we're going to do some really simple Copic coloring and we're going to use this Lawn Fawn stamp set. And this is the Christmas dream stamp set to demonstrate how to do this. So let's get started. Speeding through the stamping part of this, I stamped all of the images from the stamp set because I wasn't really sure which ones I was going to use to build our scene here. Now, I am using a stamping platform to stamp everything just to make sure that I get really good impressions of all of my images. And I'm also using Eclipse Black Maker Forte ink here, and it is made for Copic coloring. Uh, and it is a super dark black ink. Absolutely love it. Uh, I put the little bone inside of the little bu thought bubble there. Absolutely adorable. Um, you can use, you can hand stamp these on acry acrylic blocks, of course. Uh, for me, it's just easier to, when I'm stamping this for, to do a scene like this, it's just easier to stamp everything at one time using a stamping platform. One thing I like about the Stamparatus, as you can see, you can just take the lid off of it, and then I can go back and clean everything off afterwards, and that kind of thing. So for this simple coloring method, what you're going to do is color in everything in a solid fill color in about a mid-tone. And then we're going to choose a side and we're going to have a dark line down that side. And we're going to add our dark shadows under like the edge of the branches and right under the bobbles. But we're not blending anything. We're not going to worry about having a super light color, a mid-tone, and a dark color. And we're not blending anything nothing we're filling it in like we were coloring a coloring book and then we're going to draw a line down the side and draw a line under all of the little lines where we would have shadow and we're not worrying about a light source nothing like that we're just creating the look of depth here now i do prefer this method used with a non-realistic looking stamp Lawn Fawn has these really cutesy stamps that are really cartoony looking and I do prefer this method with more cartoony unrealistic looking stamps. It, they just make it look more cute. I, that's just my personal preference. You can definitely try this method on any stamp that you have and see how you like it. You might find that you have a specific stamp set that this works really really well for you with. This is just a really simple method that you can create that look of depth, look of handmade coloring and hand colored elements on your card, but without spending a ton of time doing it. This took me about 20 minutes and I really took my time doing it. I wasn't rushing or anything like that. Uh, I just really took my time and enjoyed it. I was listening to an audio book while I was coloring um, my cat and my my, my cats kept interrupting me. Um, yeah. So I just enjoyed what I was doing and just colored through this. I have one mid-tone color and I have a really dark color. And that was it. That's all I did with this. I didn't have a, a light color and a medium color and a, you know, a kind of color. We're doing no blending. None. No blending. No blending we're just doing a line of dark and when I started coloring the fireplace I was like oh I've got to color each individual block because that's the habit of when you're doing Copic coloring and I was like no I don't I don't have to do that I can color the whole thing in one simple wash of color here and then I can go back and add the lines that I need to to create that depth and look at that I colored in that wash of color and then I'm adding the lines where each brick is and it automatically just added that little bit of depth I needed. I did go ahead and add a line around the edge of the fireplace there just to set it back a little bit. The only blending that I did do here and the only reason that I did it was because there was no other way to do it was I filled in the where the fireplace is behind the fire. I did blend in from black to gray in that. Um, but the black and grays blend so easy there. I mean, that was just simple. I just created that black line around there and then I added a little bit, you know, went to the next color and went to the next color and went to the next color. 
that's the only blending I did on this card and I really didn't blend I drew lines and the the C colors just kind of blend themselves together and that's it you can see the the delineation between each color but I literally just drew lines I didn't actually blend the colors together they kind of blended themselves so I still kind of stuck with the same method that we're doing, but I did use three colors just so it wasn't like, bam, there's two different colors there. But it still kind of looks like there's two different colors there. Uh, for the bow there, I line across the bottom. That's it. I just picked that side and it's the line across the bottom. For the puppy dog, I will do a dark line across his bum. And I think I do one across his ears. And that's it. I filled the rest of it in solid tone. That's it. I didn't get fancy with this. Just a line and a line. That's it. Done and done. Not No worries about where the light source is or anything like that. And this card at the end is absolutely stinking adorable. I was very, very pleased with how it turned out. To step this card up, if you wanted to, of course you could add gems and glitter marker and that kind of thing but this is just a simple simple card and I just created the little scene and glued everything flat down to the the panel front and that's it super simple card I do show the rest of this uh, in the the card ink blend a little bit of the background and that's about it super simple method to do this so enjoy the rest of the video I'm just gonna play a little bit of Christmas music and y'all have a great day. Thanks for joining me.